Hello everybody, this is Duck, and welcome to another episode of Amplified Hardcore, and it has been a while since I've produced a video, and I am sorry about that, I just got really busy with schoolwork and um, my job, so I just have been um, off of video production for a while, so I apologize about that, but we should be back, we should be uh, able to produce more content for you, so I'm sorry about that, but right off the bat, we are over here in the village that we found in the last episode of Amplified Hardcore, and I think today... I want to do some ocean exploration. I don't know how far I will go, um, but I think that ocean exploration should be the primary goal for today's episode and see if we can find maybe a shipwreck, maybe some um, buried treasures from a buried treasure map, stuff like that. So if you're ready, I'm going to steal this villager's bed and we will fire right on into today's episode. So before we actually go on on this exploration, I do think I need to empty out my inventory right now because it's a little bit of a mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hopefully get to this water. We'll jump in here. Perfect. We got into the water. I'm not going to look at that Enderman because that would be incredibly stupid. Um, and that could be the end of the hardcore uh, series right there. Um, but I think I'm just going to go up here and I'm going to grab some wood and then we'll make a chest and we'll dump some of this valuable stuff off here that we won't need for this adventure. Um, I don't have any, I really, oh, I guess I do have enough. Never mind. I've got enough, I've got enough stuff for, uh, for a chest and whatnot. So we will just put that down here. We'll get these planks up and we'll make, we'll make two chests and we'll just put them where can we, we can just put them right here. It'll be fine. Put a chest there. What we, what don't we need? We don't need an emerald right now. Gold. I don't have a bow. Um, water bucket. Bed I probably won't need. Um, don't need the smithing templates for sure. I've got enough bread that I should be fine. Um, coal just in case for the furnaces. Torches definitely. Don't need the pistons from the jungle temple. Um... Probably don't need that iron. I'll take I'll take a couple just in case I need to repair a tool. Um and then from there I don't think we need that much. Don't need that much stone. Alright, I'm gonna grab some wood because I do have a feeling that I'm gonna need in case we go to a shipwreck, I'm gonna need um planks for doors and I need a boat um to even go on this exploration. So we might as well take some wood. Um, and if it hasn't been, if it hasn't been clear yet in today's, uh, or in not today's episode, but in just every episode in general in this series, um, cleanliness of the world is not a priority for mine, uh, a priority of mine right now, um, rather because, uh, it's hardcore and the likelihood of me having a outstanding, um, hardcore series for a long time is not that great. So I'm going to make myself a boat. And then, how many more um, doors do you think we need? We probably, I would say six is probably enough for now. We can put the torches together, do some inventory management. All right. So we'll grab that. We will grab a boat. And let's go off on this ocean adventure. I'm hoping, the only goal is to find something of interest today. Um, whether that be a shipwreck, um... I don't think I'll want to do an ocean monument if I find one, but if I'm just going to go in one direction, um, and not the band, not the band one direction. Um, but there's a coral reef there on our left and there is one, two, potentially two. Is that a shipwreck? No, that's coral. That's a ruined portal. Okay. Well, we didn't have to go very far because there's a shipwreck and there's a ruined portal. Awesome. We'll loot these. Um, if we find a buried treasure map, map we'll probably go looking for that. But let's go ahead and we'll go take out this. This will be our first stop. I hear drowns, so I'm going to be careful. Um, all right. So we'll do just we'll, we'll go down here. We will drop ourselves a door so that we can get out and we can breathe and also the increased mining speed helps out a lot. Um Protection boots from leather. Don't really need it. I'll take the bamboo and the paper um, Just for books. Is there there's got to be another chest in here somewhere. Um I actually kind of want the uh, the door with me get that back down in the air bubble so you can breathe take the door Come up here to this side 
We'll place down the door again to get back in, and then we'll go down. Oh, I forgot that's that breaks the door. All right, um, we'll put this down here, and we'll just mine around the door instead. So if we do something like this, and I do apologize if there's noise, um, there's construction going outside um, my apartment building right now. All right, that's the same. That's the same chest right there. So this might be just a one chester, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, I'm going to do a brief scope through just in case it's not. But if I come down around here, I'm thinking it's just a one chester. And I do hear those drowns, so I'm going to be careful about that. But yeah, it seems pretty pretty small to not have anything else to, to just not have anything else in it. So that's kind of unfortunate. That kind of is... Well, it's more than just unfortunate. It's just kind of sad, um, really. But, yep, that's it. So that was a little bit of a dud. Um, but we did get some paper and some bamboo from it. Um, but we'll go back up here. We'll grab my doors. Come on, take the door. All right, there's the door. There's the other door. We'll grab that. All right, and then where was the... There's that ruined portal. We'll take that ruined portal as well. And we will grab it. Let's eat some food, actually, while we're at it. Um, and I'm, I know I'm being incredibly safe, because normally I just try to immediately rush to diamonds, and I'm not right now um, going mining because I don't want to die. Oh. Oh, we fell down. Oh, because of magma. We'll take that back. All right, where's this chest? There's this chest. Oh, it's got a gold block in it. Awesome. Awesome. We'll just get air. We'll just come down here. We'll break the chest. Take all the goodies with us. Um, but we don't have inventory space for. Um, iron and flint and steel. I want those. Get rid of the bone. And raw chicken. Alright. Oh, that was enough. That was enough iron nuggets for an iron ingot, too. Awesome. That is exactly how that should have gone. Perfect. There's our boat. We'll take the boat. We'll do this. And we actually need to do some inventory management because I actually like suck at that. Um, we'll grab this beef to eat for food. Is there anything else of value here? Uh, there is. I want, I want some of this stuff. Um, so what don't I need? I don't need the oak planks. Um, I don't need the bamboo, realistically. Or the gravel. So I can pick up the obsidian paper. I know I just grabbed it, but I don't really need it. Um, what else? What else is over here? Flint. I want flint. Okay. Alright. Well, that was kind of a cool little excursion. Um, I probably will do some uh, more ocean exploration, but I'm actually going to go back here. Because I'm going to quickly drop off the stuff that I did have. Um, because I, I don't want to have a full inventory like was just a problem right there. I want to actually have stuff clean. So I'm going to do a little bit of some inventory management, and then we'll continue on the ocean adventure, where hopefully we'll find more than just a one-chested shipwreck and a ruined portal. All right, and just for future reference, um, this is more for me, so when I go back and recording, if I get lost, these are the coordinates of the village. Um, but also, if you guys were, or were wondering if you wanted to do this world... Um, those are the coordinates for the village, and that's the seed, so there you go. Um, have have fun have fun with that. Um, but in case you guys wanted it um, and wanted to use this seed, there, there that is for you. But that's also in case I end up dying, or not dying. Well, yeah, dying, because I want, I want to come back to this village. But also, just in case... Um, oh, there's a dolphin jumping. Hi, bud. Hello. But also, if I get lost... Um, I'll want I'll want those coordinates to go back to and look for um, So there here's where we just were ruin portal shipwreck um, And if I didn't do that shipwreck properly, please let me know because I Seem to not know where the chests would be in shipwrecks and that's kind of frustrating um, There is coral reef here, which is cool. I don't see much of those um, I don't see anything of Note so far and I am just gonna go in a straight line so I don't get lost, or at least I decrease the likelihood of getting lost. Um, but um, that means that I'm only going to load very few structures. But it's more of an ocean exploration. It's also getting nighttime. 
it's a more more of an ocean exploration type of deal um but we might be going we might be boating through the night which might be a problem because of drowns uh yeah that, because of drowns what's this here is that a structure no that's more coral okay oh maybe not there's land over here we found land where's my bed before mobs before mobs spawn i'm gonna sleep through the night um because i don't want to risk drowns especially all right it's basically nighttime there we go now i can sleep all right there we go now we don't have to worry about any mobs and such let's actually look at this island let's see if there's anything here of particular value um pick up the boat all right it looks like it's a desert island so i'm not predicting very much um but we'll keep looking it's also a warm ocean which i rare i rarely see in my uh in my worlds as a warm ocean so this is this is already a plus um this looks precarious this looks like some pretty bad world generation honestly huh that's interesting it is amplified and amplified on islands is kind of weird but um yeah nothing here nothing really at all but that's all right no harm done in checking um let's pull this up and boat and we'll just boat on in back into the ocean and continue going in here um and i'll just kind of go in a direction and i'll catch you guys back up to speed if something interesting happens all right i found a biome that i rarely see rarely rarely see we have ourselves a mushroom island so that's already that's already amazing um i'm going to actually look on it i know there's nothing ever here but might as well just look um and we'll take that and it is amplified but this terrain is kind of flat i know it I know that's kind of the point of the mushroom islands but it is it is just a flat very flat type of terrain for amplified so i might do something here maybe i might not i don't know um but it's kind of cool i grabbed my boat right yeah okay um but i rare i rarely see this type of biome so i wanted to give it just a little bit of some love while i'm here and we have a mushroom a couple mushrooms i wish i had a I wish I had a bowl with me. I don't even have a bowl. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mushrooms. Um, but we do have mushrooms here. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give it a little bit of some attention because I've not seen a uh, mushroom island before and I saw it coming up in the render distance. I thought might as well give it some love. Um, so, hey, bud. I don't need food, so I'm not going to murder you. You got off easy just this time, just this one time. All right, so I've kind of gone from the path. The Mushroom Island is just out of render distance over here. It only took me a couple seconds um, to go around that. And I found this pillar. And I don't know what it is, but I want to check it out. Um, and I think uh, I think it's just the amplified terrain coming back to existence. Oh, that's just... Holy cow. That's just a pillar of dirt and stone. But holy cow, that was cool. Um, I, I like, I like the terrain. I know I've said, I know that's basically what I've said for this entire terrain, but that looks cool. And is that a mangrove? This is a mang, what's with the rare biomes today? This is a mangrove swamp, isn't it? I had a mushroom island and a mangrove swamp in the same episode. Let's go. All right. Awesome. Okay. This is cool. Um, and yes, I'm still kind of looking for a place to actually build a base. This might be it. I've not done anything with a... Oh. Forget might. This, I think, is likely it. I know I've been saying that a lot, but... I like this spot a lot. A lot, a lot, I like this spot. Okay. Okay. I think I'm going to probably actually use this mangrove swamp um and it's amplified and it's by an ocean this is amazing i like this a lot um this is likely my base location um i know i've been changing my mind often about that um but i think that this is it 
I love the man mangrove swamp. The problem is they're so rare. So unbelievably rare. But I think we can do something here. I think I, I likely will. In fact, I think... I think I'm so likely that we might be making trips. I don't have... Yeah, I, we might be making trips to gather my stuff back up from the village. Because I, I'm close enough to the village... Right, that I, I I can go there if I need stuff. It's not that far. It's a cup. It's like a five six minute boat ride. It's not that bad. Um, and I, I kind I really like this. I like this terrain. I like the fact that it's amplified mangrove. Um, we're close to Mushroom Island, so if I wanted to do something, um, like an industrial district, I could. I think we can. I think we can uh, safely say that we are probably going to be building a base here. And I think that's what we'll do for the second half of today's episode, is we'll gather up the essentials, the stuff that we know we will need, and I think I'm going to move my stuff over here. And I think that this is going to be the base location. Um, so I'm actually, what's in my inventory that I don't need to take with me, because I don't have shulker boxes, I mean I don't even have diamonds. Um, I'm probably going to keep my bed with me just in case it does get nighttime. Um, what stuff that I can keep here? Um, there's some stuff that I'll probably just keep in that chest there in case I want it later. Because I'll be coming back to that village. Um, but, like I said, yeah, I think this, I think that is a awesome base location. I am going to definitely be using that. Um, so I think that what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting our stuff to actually move in here permanently. For a perfect base in an amplified hardcore world. All right, so I was mildly incorrect with the uh, distance and time that it's gonna take me. It might be closer to a 15, 16 minute boat ride between the mangrove biome and the village. So it's gonna take me a little bit of time to get there and back, especially after I have to go around this mushroom island. Um, but we will get there eventually and we will start moving our stuff in. All right, so I have gotten the essentials here from this village, and this is what it pertains to. Um, so I'm going to say so long to this village temporarily. I'll probably be back at some point because um, the easiest way to get food is from these villagers. Um, so I'm going to make my way back. Um, I don't think we'll have time in today's episode to do any base design, but we'll at least get set up so that in the next episode we can start right off with that and maybe even go to the nether if I'm feeling so so gutsy. Um, but I'll just catch you guys when I get back there and we can see what we'll have time for. All right, so we have returned and what I'm going to do immediately is get my inventory in order because it is a disaster right now. Um, so I'm going to come up here and grab the oak planks necessary for a chest and we'll place chest, the chest down right here and we will put iron gold, some of the tools and smithing templates that we don't need at the moment. Um, the emeralds, fire charge, um, water bucket, some of this extra iron. And we'll put that in there just so it's out of my inventory. And what I think I'm going to want to do is I think I'm going to want to light up this area a little bit. Because mobs are too dangerous for my health and I don't want to die. Now that I have a good place to build a base, I do not want to die. So I think we're going to actually go in here with the remaining time in today's episode and light up this this area a little bit because it is a uh, not duck safe for sure not at all um case in point that right there that that whole fiasco um which i'm going to actually avoid very carefully and i'll go this way because i don't want to deal with skeletons right now they are the bane of my existence and i'm just going to light up the beach area right now um because i mean going into the deep the deep of the woods i'm going to want to actually build a cave um, not a cave entrance, but like a mine shaft down in there. So I'm going to need to be in my, my peak performance for this, uh, for that adventure anyways. So I'll hold on until they're to hold on until then to deal with these, uh, skeletons. Um, but it's really cool that we found a mangrove swamp. We found both the mushroom Island and the mangrove swamp, two very rare biomes. Um, but I don't want to build my base here because this was what a normal mangrove bi biome looks like. I would rather go over here to the amplified uh, terrain where it kind of made the terrain look a little bit weird um, because I think that's where it looks looks its best is up here. Um, 
if we get a second, we'll go up here to where there's a fl the floating islands. That's where it looks the best. And I need to not take fall damage like that. But if we come over here, and I'm going to place torches down haphazardly just to light up the area just a little bit. If we come back over here, yeah, we've got the floating island. I want to do something there um, where we've got a little bit, um, a little bit more of a more interesting looking terrain here. Um, but we're just going to light some stuff up just a little bit. Um, and while we're on this, I am going to just ramble on as I always do about um, apologizing for the lack of uploads lately. Um, more than anything, I've either been busy at work or have been obsessed with Hollow Knight. So I haven't played Minecraft very much and I apologize for that. Um, but hopefully we'll be back with a little bit more, um, a little bit more content for you guys. So I apologize for that. Um, because it was, it was between, um, working, um, for either schoolwork or work in my normal job. And then anytime that I wasn't working, I was wanting to play Hollow, Hollow Knight. So I really didn't do a whole lot of content creation. I do apologize for that. Um, but we should be back. But I think that this is probably a good stopping point. We haven't done a whole lot of lighting up, but that's a problem for for later times. We found a place to build a base, and that is the most important part. Um, between that and also the fact that we did find a rune portal and a shipwreck, I think that this was a pretty eventful episode. So thank you guys, as always, for watching. I do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Um, and... As always, let me know how I did. If you have any uh, questions, comments, concerns, I am always, always uh, ready to read and respond to comments. And in addition, um, if you guys had have any um, base design ideas for this area, I, I would be really open to them because I think that this is going to be a real fun experience and I can't wait to share it with you guys. But until next time, thank you guys as always. God bless and we will see you guys later. Adios.